President Biden has signed a bill that could ban the popular app TikTok from operating in the U.S. if its parent company doesn't sell the platform in the next nine months. Jamie Tucker takes a closer look at what's happening. Yeah, the clock is officially ticking on TikTok. The concern is national security, that China could demand TikTok's owner ByteDance share the personal information it gathers from U.S. citizens using the app. But many argue that our private information is widely available to anyone who wants it from many sources. A consumer advocate, Stephen Kent, tells me it goes a lot deeper than just name, address, and personal preferences. Metric data ranging from fingerprints to eyes, uh, to voice patterns and speech. Uh, and then there's also just backdoors that TikTok provides through its user agreement to all manner of other apps on your phone. This is And that, he says, is just what we as consumers know about. A TikTok argues it should be allowed to continue to operate on the grounds of the First Amendment. Kent says that won't be enough to save it. The I see this playing out personally that a year from now, TikTok will not be in operation in the United States. Because ByteDance is not a good faith, profit-driven profit company. A good faith, profit-driven company would find a buyer and they would cash out and sell. Right. But Byte, ByteDance is an intelligence gathering operation. <laughs> and they are not going to sell their intelligence gathering tool, TikTok, to another buyer. Now, if TikTok is banned, it won't suddenly disappear from your phone and you won't be breaking the law if you use it. But it will no longer be available for new downloads from the app stores. And eventually, as Apple and Google update their operating systems, it will stop working. But the story is far from over. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.